Hello again, everyone. Welcome to a new Let's Play. What are we gonna play? Another game from Wajidai Games. Which basically means another Blackwell game. Of course. Ooh, look, I can make the clouds dance. Dance, clouds, dance! Dance for my amusement! Alright, let's go ahead and do a new game. I really like the rain effects here. New York City, Upper West Side, 5.30 p.m. Smilex. <clears throat> Hello? Anybody there? Nobody here but really us chickens. I was expecting an answer. I was just checking. Well, you checked. Now open the door and let's see what's in there. A tutorial is available. Would you like to activate it? No, I would not. I can't see anything in there. Aww. It's a door. It's in our way. Well, it's not my fault. Let's take a look at this newspaper. The City Post. Late City Final. March 15th, 2007. Mostly cloudy. Storms. Campaign Jinx by Jeremy Sams. City Commissioner hopeful Alex Silva announced a home base change yesterday. After renovations of the new campaign headquarters at 354 West 80th failed to go as planned. This decision comes after months of difficulty. Three construction contractors hired to do the renovations have all left the job without warning. None of the contractors could be reached for comment, but Silva's critics have joked that the campaign is jinxed before it's even begun. Okay. Joey, the door is locked. Yeah, I can see that. Looks Only like we had Jill with us. Well, we can switch to Joey now. It's the door. I can't see anything besides this door. It's the door. Thanks for informing us, Joey. Hmm, charming. Well, what do you see? Absolutely nothing. nothing. Yet. Yeah. I'll see if there's a way to open that door. There's a lot of dust covering those sheets. How, how long has this place been closed down? Just an old desk. Just some desk drawers. Can't say much for the decor. Half the city would kill for a view like this. Maybe somebody did. Dun dun dun! It's really coming down in buckets. Ooh, a shiny object. Hey, we don't have to pixel hunt it looks for like it. Looks like a paper clip. Well, oh. hey. Hey, dollface, I got a present for you. Joey, a paperclip just blew past my shoe. It's all yours, darling. What do I do with this? Try opening Pick the door. The lock. Does that actually work? Sure, why not? Okay, well, switch back to Rosa. Let's try the paperclip on the door. Only we had Jill. I have no idea how to do this. Just keep trying, darling. Uh, just it's jiggle an it. Old door. It shouldn't be any trouble. It Jiggle keeps handle. slipping. This isn't going to work. Oh, ye of little faith. Ha! Take that, Jill. Who's the master of unlocking now? You think something's coming? Not sure. I feel something. Might as well take a look around first, just in case. Relatives of yours, Joey? Huh? You know, the spooky sheet. I don't get it. Never mind. Uh, Looks Joey. like the workers left this one behind. Either that, or they put it up before leaving. Looks like the workers left this. Either that. Looks like an old desk. Looks like desk drawers to me. Well, let's take a look inside the desk drawers. All I could find was a newspaper clipping. Looks like an obituary. Alan Riken, of Riken Publishing and Supply, was found dead yesterday afternoon. Witnesses saw Riken fall from a great height, landing on the sidewalk outside of his office building at 354 West 80th Street. Officers at the scene ruled the death a suicide. I didn't think you could actually rule it a suicide if you're the officer at the scene. I thought that had to be the medical examiner. Oh well. Notes. Alan Riken's di- Riken's- R Riken? Riken? Whatever. Obituary. We found an obituary for an Alan Rakin who committed suicide. His body was found outside this building. I think it's Rakin, actually. Well, let's see. What else can we? There's nothing on there. Nope. There's nothing on. 
Yeah, nothing there. Nothing there. Oh, look! Oh, Joey. Yeah? I think I found it. Well, will you look at that? What's he doing out there? There's only one way to Looking find at the view. out. I am not climbing out of the ledge. <laughs> what are you kidding? Leave the dangerous stuff to the dead guy. I like that he has a grin now. Although I do miss her grin. Alright. A spook on a window ledge. Now I've seen everything. How have you not seen a spook on a window ledge before? Surely you've investigated other suicides. Alright, let's see what this spook has to say. Yeah, I know the drill. I'll wait here. Excuse me, mister. Balding middle aged guy. It looks kind of scared. Just jump, buddy. Man, what a view! I can even see the Hudson River from here. Snazzy as it would be, I can't just float off into the skyline. Aww. Besides, I've got a job to do. Aww. He's a balding middle aged. It looks. Hello. Alright, let's talk to him. Stay back. I mean it. I'll do it. Well then, do it. Let's uh, let's get him to relax. All right, pal. Take a deep breath and relax. Relax. relax? Sure. Relax? Yeah, you don't want to slip and fall. I relax. If I could relax, you'd think I'd be out here. I don't know. I don't know. A nice don't view could be kind of relaxing. I swear, I'll jump. Jump? You're here to kill yourself? Maybe. I don't know. I can't think of anything else to do. If you don't know why you're out on a ledge, maybe you shouldn't be out on the ledge. Ghost on the ledge. There's a ghost on the ledge of an empty high-rise office. He's threatening to jump. Let's see. Let's consult the notebook. Hey, are you Alan Riken? It's been a while. You might not remember. No, I don't remember at all. How do you not remember Hello. yourself? I've had a lot on my mind. Yeah, I, I think having a lot on your mind doesn't make you forget who you are. Then he is a. Then again, he is a ghost. Wife? No, no. Just here for an old friend. Okay. I'm not sure who you are, but you seem to know me. What do you want to talk about? Let's talk about you. Listen, Alan. Concentrate and take a look around. Doesn't anything seem strange, out of place, or off kilter? Like your lack of feet? No. You don't remember falling? Due to your lack of feet? No, of course not. I came out here and stayed. I haven't jumped yet. <laughs> right, right. Yet. Never mind. Okay. Um. Find the silver lining. Things can't be all that bad. Oh, surely they can. Do you know what it's like to lose everything? Yes. To have yes, he does. Everything you loved and struggled for just vanish. I know something about that. Yeah. Being dead and all. Then you know what I'm going through. Uh, let's ask about what happened. Well, let's talk That's about the view you, first. Huh? Is it? Yeah, I guess it is. Uh, see, fuck like up. King of the world. I used uh, this guy's the king, the king of the world. This, this is just. Now, I'm not sure. Duke of the world. Let's ask but him what, what happened. happened, Alan. What brought you to this? A fire destroyed my entire stock. The resulting lawsuits bankrupted me. Why did you not have insurance? You don't understand. I spent my life building this business. And yet you didn't get happened, insurance. I lost everything. Everyone deserted me. People I thought were friends. Maybe they thought you should have bought insurance. My wife. Uh, let's talk about the wife. Where is your wife? She left. She won't even talk to me. I just get phone calls from her lawyer. I thought she'd stick by me. That's what you're supposed to do, right? Well, that's the 21st century. Um, let's not say he deserved to be abandoned. Let's pretend his wife's inside. Nah. Let's talk about women. Full of pretty broads, Alan. You shouldn't get all weepy over just one. Come on. Look at me. I'm pushing 50. Overweight. And not to mention broke. Yep, what that is that is pretty bad. Me? Um, set him up on a blind date, or he'll always be lonely. That seems kind of cruel. Set him hey, up on a date. You like redheads? Huh? <laughs> it's a simple question. Do you like redheads? Who doesn't? Sure, I guess. Great, I've got a girl who's perfect for you. That that's you do? 
sure. She's that's a ju- that's a leap to make Is this a to be perfect. Of course not. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, that grin. There she is. Go on, introduce yourself. She's kind of young for me, isn't she? Don't let that, isn't that stop what... you. Uh, never what are you doing? <laughs> Go on, Tiger. She's waiting. <laughs> so, you've been asking about me. Oh, no. Um. <laughs> sure. Yes. Yeah. Oh, uh, sure. Really? Sure. Yeah. Uh. Mm. Why? Well. Uh. You think he's cute? He's a nice guy. <laughs> he's an ugly loser who will die alone. Uh he's a nice guy. You seem like a nice guy. Seem like a, a nice, nice guy. guy. Sure. Let me tell you something, lady. Women don't like nice guys. What's your angle? You're not interested in me. Wait. I'm wasting my time. Thanks for trying, but this isn't going to work. Damn it. Hey, wait. She was trying to be nice. Did you just try to set me up? <laughs> just call me Matchmaker Malone. <laughs> I'm not seducing a ghost. You don't have to go all the way. N-O spells no. <laughs> oh, come on. I got something to say. Sure, what's up? Let's chat with hey, Rosa. why don't you try snooping around? You think there's a clue here? There's gotta be something. Is there something else? Discuss our notes. It's a long way down from here. If you want to jelly up the pavement, this is a good place to make sure it's done right. Ew. That's kind of tasteless. Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> That's well, all. Well, let's get back to it. Yeah. I suppose that would be if you hadn't found the uh, the obituary yet. Weren't, weren't able to figure out who it was. Um, I guess we'll go back out. Try again. I'm going to take another crack at him. Okay. I'll wait here. Hey, buddy. Hey, Alan. Oh, you again. Oh, come on. It's Joey. Talk about women? Yeah, let's not do that. Talk about wife? Pretend his wife's hey, inside. His wife's inside. Really? Yeah, she wants to talk to you. I don't believe you. Come on, now's your chance to win her back. Exactly. Well, She's a redhead, right? There she is. That's, That's my, my wife? wife? That's, That's Sandra? Sandra? Wife? <laughs> sure, don't you recognize her? It's hard to see clearly for some reason. Is that red hair? She dyed it. <laughs> Go on, talk to her. Sandra, is that really you? Yes? Uh, sure. Sure, it's me. I'm Sandra. Why <laughs> yes, there's the Sandra? grin! There's the grin! Well, uh... Um... You were right to leave him. You still love him. You made a mistake. We'll try that. I, uh, made a mistake, Alan. I shouldn't have left you. A mistake? Why should I trust you now, Sandra? Oh, come on. You left and sick lawyers on me, taking what little I had left. You destroyed me, Sandra. If I jump, it'll be your fault. Ooh, that's harsh. Hey, wait. She was trying to be nice. Way to go. I've never what been a she? wife before. She didn't do anything. Ah, let's try it again. I'm going to take another crack at him. Okay, I'll wait here. Hey, Alan. Oh, you again. Oh, come on, don't be that way. Wife, you deserve to be abandoned. No, uh, talk about business. He's a failure as a business. Uh, hook him up with a business partner. Hey, yeah, maybe this will work. Capitalist inside. I'm, I'm definitely getting the, uh, the feeling that really? none of this is going to work. Someone wants to start a business with me. That's what she sure. said. Sure. Why don't you come inside and talk to her? Well, okay. There's your investor. She's heard about your old business and wants to join forces. Is that right? You bet. This isn't some kind of gag? Of course not. She's loaded. Go on, talk to the lady. So, what's the story? You really want to invest in a bankrupt publishing supply company? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. Why? Well, uh... Well, you can't go down any farther if you're already bankrupt. I mean, you could. You could jump off the ledge. But your company can't, other than closing. Uh, heard good things about him. Smart businessman. Or he's a total failure. Uh, he's... Uh, heard good things about him? 
I've heard good things about you. Oh, really? From who? Oh, people, people. in the biz. In the biz. In the biz. Yes, you know, word gets around. Nobody. It's just would a. Say good it was just a fire. Come on. I think you're full of it. Thanks for trying, but this isn't going to work. Hey, wait. She was trying to be nice. Way to impress him with your business know-how. Way to put me on the spot. Yeah, it is kind of your fault, Joey. Uh, you, you didn't you didn't consult with the plan, uh, with uh, consult with her about a plan first. Okay, I'll wait here. So. Uh, hey, Alan. Oh. I I only have the bad options left, don't I? Wife, he deserved to be abandoned. Women, he'll always be lonely. He's a failure as a businessman. Oh, good. Hmm. He deserved to be abandoned. Let's just go... F Let's go all the way. If we're gonna go bad, we might as well say the worst one. So your wife left you, huh? Yeah. Figures. Oh. <laughs> Look at yourself. Everyone knows that if a ship is sinking, you abandon it. I yes, now jump off! Wee! Would. That's... That's... <sighs> Completely true. Oh, hey. Uh, you'll always you be know, lonely. You're right. I can't think of any woman who would be attracted to you. You really think so? Sorry, pal. That's the way I see it. I always thought that. But to hear someone else say it, it hits very close to home. The lower left ventricle. Okay, he's a total failure as a businessman. Uh -huh. Man, this is cruel, even for me. One more blow to his ego, and he's bound to go over the edge. Well, he's really a ghost. It doesn't matter that much. Hey, Alan, I'm gonna take off. Don't, uh, go anywhere. Alright. See if we, uh, have another option. Hello in there. What? I said hello. I can't hear you. <laughs> Never mind. What? I said n Ah, forget it. <laughs> I love that. I didn't even Man, think that I could do that. I was trying to click on her. Why is that? The other button. The guy's threatening to jump. Jump? Yeah. Well, how can he... Yeah, it's an odd one. <laughs> oh, I gotta sneeze. Hold on. Ah, sorry about that. Uh, I haven't been sleeping all that well, and this is what happens when I tend to not sleep well. I get sniffly. Um, She's just beginning to dry off. Well, that's good. Let's you and me have a little talk. Sure, what's up? Can we talk about we anything about other than him? Guy, we might be able to save him. Have you tried talking to him? It's like running into a brick wall. Well, if anyone's an expert on going through a brick wall, it's you. Huh? You know, being a ghost and all. <laughs> oh, cute. Oh, come on. That was good. You are a ghost, after all. I mean, uh, head shouldn't be that thick. You should have realized You're what you're just going to stand there? At. Do something productive, why don't you? I'm doing the best I can. What else can I do? Investigate. Move stuff around. Use those hands and arms. <laughs> I got to think of everything. <laughs> you're just going to stand there? Do something. I'm doing the best. All right, that's about it. Discuss our notes. Nope, that's all we've got. Well, is there it's anything? It's a long way down from here. If you want to jump, that's just no. That's that's it. Okay. Well, let's get back to it. Yeah. What if I switch back to Rosa? Hey, Joey. What could it possibly be? Oh, come on. So, what should we do now? There's our spook. Why don't we talk to him? I'm glad my notebook is okay. I thought it would get soaked in the rain, but it's fine. Well, thank heaven for that. We'd be goners for sure without that notebook. Be quiet. So what should we do now? There. I'm glad. Uh, We'd be quiet. Okay. Uh, I guess we, uh... That's all for now? Sure. I guess we kind of have to. I'm gonna take another... Okay. Hey. Oh. Alright, talk to him about business. He's a total so failure as a business businessman. Well, yeah, I guess. <coughs> and I yes, ran it into the ground because of a fire. I am a businessman. Not anymore, you're not. No, I'm not. You're just well, a little man giving up. a big office and a view he doesn't deserve. And you're way too old and tired to start over. 
Yeah. What's the point? Retire? I don't know what to do anymore. Just oh, retire. I think you do. I do? You're looking right down at it. You're right. You're so right. It's over. It's... This is it. Huh? <laughs> oh. Suddenly it hits him. I've been here before. I'm sorry. But it was an accident. I wasn't really going to jump. I was going to go back in. Well, then you shouldn't have gone out now. in the ledge in the I first place. Fell. I didn't want to jump. I remember. I remember falling. Wishing I had a second chance. Yep. Yeah, if wishes were fishes, maybe, we'd maybe it's for the best. make a fillet sandwich or something. I don't know. For anyway. I'm sorry, pal. So what now? I haunt this ledge forever. Yep. No, I'm here to help you move on. Just oh, that that too. Me. That's right. Are you ready, Alan? I guess. Let's get this over with. Go into the light, Alan. Go into the light. First, Just pull the tie. <laughs> All right. Okay. Do it. Whee! Wump. Hmm. I can't help but think we could have handled that better. No, I'm getting the impression that we couldn't have. Watch it, I Games presents. Well, bye, I'm going into the light now. The Blackwell Convergence. Oh, my job's done here. Written by Dave Gilbert. We designed by Isle Jammer. It's like a spell jammer, but... Jammy Niles, or some background uh, art by... Luminous Arts, Karen Petrosco. With Abe Goldfarb as Joey Malone. Are you going to get up now, Rosa? There you go. And Rebecca Whitaker as Rosa Blackwell. Well, our work here is done. I'm just going to leave the door open, though. Character animation, Shane Stevens. Character Portraits by Ian Schleipfer. That's a lot of constants. Music by Thomas Regan. Probably gonna get more content ID matches for it, too. Game Engine by Chris Jones. Not our best work, but we got him in the end. I'd call this day done, wouldn't you? Yeah, although... What? It's only like 6 Isn't p.m. There something we're supposed to do tonight? I don't think so. I feel like we're forgetting something. I'd ignore that feeling if I were <laughs> you. <laughs> just, just ignore things that you might have forgotten. Forgetful Rosa. I have a nagging feeling I'm supposed to be doing something. I usually write stuff like this down. Where would I have written it? Let's take a look at the TV room. I don't remote. know why I even bother keeping that. Remote controls don't work when Joey is around. Ooh, that's... that's not good. Ghost drum? It's fine where it is. Are you sure? Can't look out the windows, can't look in the cupboards, can't make tea, can't sit down. Fake plant! I don't plant. need to water it, it's fake. Well, that's good. Auntie Lauren picture. Let's see if it's the same picture. It is! Yay! I look scared out of my mind. Maybe I could sense Joey, even then. If so, I had a good reason to be scared. <laughs> Auntie Lauren and me, on the Brooklyn Bridge. I don't remember anything about that day. I barely remember Auntie. All my life, I wanted to know more about her. I never imagined that she was a medium. We almost look like a real family with Joey standing there. That's The right. most dysfunctional family in the country, but still. Anything else to look at? I've had this picture since I was a baby. I don't want to ruin it. Well, it's just I've fingerprints. Had this picture since okay. Yeah, it's fake, but you can hardly tell. <laughs> it's an African ghost drum. It's supposed to keep ghosts away when you play it. It doesn't work. Aww. Disappointing. 
I don't know why I even bother keep remote control. I don't know why. That's the same thing regardless of what button you use. Lava lamp. It's fine where it is. I suppose I should stop trying to manipulate them and do look. I picked this up at a tag sale years ago. Some people think lava lamps are tacky, but I think they're cool. I'm afraid to ask what Joey thinks of it. With Joey around, it's impossible to get a decent reception. Somehow, he blocks TV and radio signals. I got cable installed last month. Seems to do the trick, even though I rarely watch TV. Yay, cable. I hope it was Fios. I can't think of anything I want to watch. Teddy bear! It's Griff, the P.I. bear. I've had him since I was a kid. He's really starting to show his age. No, it just needs a bit of a cleaning. Uh, admittedly, I have a stuffed white rabbit that uh, that was given to uh, my mother before I was born for me that uh, is now noticeably not white. Well, it was more cream than white, but it's still, it's noticeably not cream now. <laughs> Actually kind of amusing. Hey Griff, how are you today? Fluff all secure? Holding yourself together? Awesome. Yay, that grin! I sold all of my books to a used bookstore last month. Why? It didn't take long for the shelf to fill up again. Well, that's good at least. I sold all didn't. When was the last time I watered that plant? I think it was a week ago. I'm surprised it's still alive. Well, maybe we should water it now? I'll water it later. <laughs> <laughs> I picked up that clock at a tag sale. It's fine where it is. Well, what time is it? Let's take a look at the calendar. Do we have anything on the calendar? The park gallery with Nishanti. Oh. Oh crap. What time is it? 7:15. Damn it. She's going to kill me. What's your problem? The gallery opening. Don't you remember? She invited us to go. Us. All right, me. But you're still coming. You really want to go to some stupid gallery? Well, Nishanti invited us. I'm not flicking out on her again. It's not nice. Fine. Whatever. Do what you like. I'm staying not home. Like I have a choice. Well, that's true. Park gallery. I'm supposed to meet Nishanti at the park gallery. I have to find the address. I'm already late. Well, shucks. Yep, he's still there. Darn. <laughs> Joey. What could it possibly be? Oh, don't be rude. Uh, plan your next so move. So what should we do now? Well, you're so keen on that gallery. Might as well scoot. I have no idea where the gallery is. Well, don't look at me. You want to go there so badly, you figure it out. This would be easier with a, with a smartphone. I'm thinking of getting a new computer. Oh, really? Yeah, it's been kind of slow and clunky lately. Well, you'd know more about slow and clunky than me. Hmm. That's all for now. Ah, uh, sure. Joey. Uh, what do we have on the bulletin board? Just a bunch of old articles I wrote for the Village Eye newspaper. I don't know why I kept them. I hated working there. Well, they're still your articles. Just a bunch of... Those are fine where they... Twelve the steps to getting your first novel published. Parts one and two. I never could get past step number four. Ouch. This Newspaper was the clipping. last article I wrote for the Village Eye. It was also my very first case as a medium. <clears throat> Freshman Suicide at NYU Campus by Rosangela Blackwell. Joanne Sherman was an 18-year-old freshman studying political science at NYU. Her sudden suicide this morning has many school authorities asking why. Sherman left with her two friends. She always had friends around her, R.A. Adrian Tucker said. Her suicide came as a total surprise. I was never cut out for journalism. I don't want to mess with... It's not a very long article. Oh, hey, the wedding picture. My father died in a car crash soon after I was born. Looking at this picture is like looking at a stranger. My mother died in a car crash soon after I was born. She looks so young in this picture, more like a kid sister than a mother. Joey looks angry. Of course, that's nothing unusual. <laughs> Auntie looks kind of happy. I wonder what she was smiling about. Well, her brother was getting married. Anything else to look at? Nope. I don't want to get fingerprints all over it. You can always wipe them off. Uh, 
Anything else that we can look at? We could use a computer, we could use a phone. Some trash can. Let's take a look at the trash can. It's full of rejection letters from publishers. Best place for them. <laughs> I have a friend in that same boat. I'm not rooting through my trash. I threw that stuff away for a reason. I have nobody to call. I rarely do these days. A landline telephone. One of the few left in the city, I'm sure. Since Joey blocks airborne signals, there's no point in getting a cell phone. Oh, well, I guess that would be the case. My bedroom door, or as I like to call it, my illusion of privacy. <laughs> it's too early to sleep. Uh, that, that's probably accurate. Joey, we're looking at you. Um, uh, ooh, couch. Can we root through the couch for change? This couch came with the apartment. Ooh. I have no idea how old it is. Ooh. This couch, I, I don't have time to sit around. Well, look for change. All right, well, um, I'm pretty sure that we can look it up online. Um, so I think we've pretty much exhausted everything that we can look at. So I think we'll do that in the next episode. Rosa says bye.